Fantastic. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you've seen the previous video, yeah, because this is, let's say, the sequel, part two of it, yeah, where we have solved the quadratic equation by using the ABC formula. So please have a look at my previous video where I, or where actually we have done all these steps. Then we found the answers 2.41 and minus 0.41. I'm just going to write the initial question here. That is x squared minus 2x equals 1. But first we rearrange that, of course, to x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so those were the answers we got by showing all our workings. Yeah, And on your exam paper, you will get a question like this and you have to show all your workings. Okay, So you still have to be able to do this, but it is still good to check if you have made a stupid mistake. Yeah, We all make stupid mistakes, I make stupid mistakes, let's find out uh, if we have. Okay, so I prepared this one, there we are, uh, this one for you. Now we all have different calculators. Um, I have, what is that, a Casio FX991ES, I think a student just left it on my desk uh, half an hour ago, so I'm using it now, I'll give it back in the afternoon, I promise, I don't know whose it is. Anyway. This works relatively the same for all calculators, yeah? So you're just gonna try to follow me. I'm gonna press mode, yeah? And you're gonna press mode as well, yeah? And then after mode, I will get a table with all sorts of, uh, yeah, words. And I need to do, because I'm trying to solve an equation. Equation. And for me, that is number five. So I'm gonna press the five, because I want to go into that menu of equation five. Okay, now I'm gonna find all types of equations, yeah? And, um, I am interested, in this case, to solve a quadratic equation which has this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And in my calculator, that is number three. So I'm gonna press a three there, there we go. Okay, and now I get a table. It says a, and now it's zero, b, it's zero, and c is zero. And I have to enter the values for a, b, and c and separate it with an equal sign every time. Okay, so the values of a, b, and c. So if I go to the question, what is the value of a? That is one. So I press a one equals. Then it will bring me to b. What is the value of b? Negative two equals. And it will bring me to c. What is the value of c? That's a minus one. Yeah? Careful, you have to equal to zero first. Minus one. Minus one equals. Okay. So I've entered my values, and I'm going to say equal again. Equal. All right. Now my calculator tells me, well, x1, and so that's my first answer, equals 2.41 and all the other decimals, yeah? And that is that answer. However, where is my second answer? Well, then I have to use the arrows, yeah, to go down, and then I get x2 minus 0 0.41 and all the other decimals. You see that? And perhaps I forgot what x1 was, so I can go back up if I like, yeah? So I can look. Uh, at the two values of x. Fantastic. Now, I'm finished now. I want to find out what 8 plus 3 is or whatever, so I'm finished with these quadratic equations, but how do I go back? Because I'm still in that menu. Chill, don't worry, relax, have a cup of tea, go back to mode, press mode. Yeah. So I'm done now, I've checked my answer, and then I just want to use the computer mode again, which is in my menu, number one, and most likely yours again. And then I, I have to do eight plus three, because I can't do that mentally, it tells me 11. Yeah, you see that? So you can check your answers using um, your calculator. And that's even a very useful tool if you have to factorize it, because that kind of tells you what the factors are you are looking for when you're factorizing a quadratic expression. Okay, I hope that was useful. Uh, still, it's important that you are able to write down all the workings and three o'clock in the night, you wake up tonight, you have to go to the toilet and you're gonna tell yourself x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Yeah, sorry, I was doing two things at the same time. Yeah, so x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Yeah, you have to be able to, to kind of chant that formula yourself even when it's three o'clock in the night. All right, next video, I have some more example questions for you, so you can try them yourself. I'll see you there.